We have a lot to talk about here today. It was a weekend of about 50 shows, Extreme Rules, the Moxley Gage match, Bound for Glory, SmackDown, Rampage, Battle of the Belts. we got a lot to get into here today. And yes, we should start off by saying that Bray Wyatt is back. He returned after the main event of the Extreme Rules show, and they had a... Very uh, fancy, you know, the place was darkened, he was singing Whole World in his hands, they cut to different parts of the arena where there was a guy dressed as the pig and the rabbit, and uh, went on for a while, and then finally he came out and he had a new mask on, and he took the mask off and it was Bray, and man, these people just lost it for the return of Bray Wyatt. So, it was a cool return, and I guess the big question now is, what do you do with the guy? Yeah, it was very well done. Um, He got a big, big reaction, and um, he looked very heavy. I don't know if you noticed that. Very, very Well, it was very dark, so I didn't really notice that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, more than usual, so um, at least the way it was shot. It wasn't shot. It wasn't shot in a way that made him look like he was in shape at all, but, I mean, he's always been heavy, but it looked, I mean, it looked more than usual. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, he'll probably, he probably should help the raw rating on Monday. And uh, then we'll, we'll go from there. Probably help it a lot, actually. What did you think of this Extreme Rules show? Um, I mean, I thought it was a good show. It, you know, time wise, three hours. Uh, um, I, I was going to, like, I don't think there's anything bad other than the baseball bat stuff in the in the Ronda Rousey and Liv Morgan match was a terrible idea because for for a number of reasons. Number one, um, how do you work that? You know what I mean? The only way to work it is to make it look like shit, and that's what they did. They made it look like shit. Plus, whoever agented the match, the idea of doing like ten baseball bat shots, one is enough. You know what I mean? It's it, it was overkill. It made it fake. Plus, again, you're you're watching one bad looking baseball bat shot after another. So that was like the one negative on the show. And um, the rest of the show, I mean, I thought uh, the Edge match with Finn Balor was tremendous storytelling. The first match was first match was excellent, and um, you know most of the other stuff was good. Nothing else was great on the show. And um, when you do the the guest referee you know, who's a real fighter, it's supposed to end after the match where the real fighter does something to the heel. And that did not happen. It was kind of like when it was over, it's like, you know, what did they put him there for? You know, I mean, it, it's, I guess, just because of the name or something. But it was like, you know, I mean, every time you have a boxer, um, and granted, he's not a boxer, but you have a real fighter as referee. I mean, the whole idea is, is that the heel you know, um, shoves him around afterwards, antagonizes him, and then the real fighter hits him. And that's the pop that you build the whole match for. And so it's, it's you know, it's been done since God only knows, you know, probably Jack Dempsey and people like that to Buster Douglas to, to um, you know, um, Archie Moore, Joe Lewis, um, you know, Jersey Joe Walcott, like every famous boxer referee spot uh ernie shavers um i remember seeing ernie shavers in southwest championship wrestling do it and it's it's like it's what everyone expects and um whatever they didn't do it so that was weird and um so i guess that's my thoughts on the show i mean i thought it was a good show it, um really enjoyed um really enjoyed two of the matches a lot and then the other matches i was pretty much fine with I think the jury is still out on on cross I think that it was like you know it's like I don't think he failed but he didn't he didn't win me over like he's like a big he didn't come across to me like he was a big star I mean like they put him over he had to win um, um, and he did but and I guess that they did the eye injury thing that they were gonna do on TV but um, I mean it was it wasn't like he was bad but he didn't come off like this main event heel to me at all, even with, you know, Drew, you know, doing his best to try to make him that. So, um, jury's out on him. He'll, he'll, he'll get chance after chance because he's one of their projects. Um, he's going to have to fail a lot. He's going to have to fail. And he didn't fail tonight, but I don't, 
I, I, you know, it was big for him, and I don't think that he really blew it out of the park either. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.